afternoon Dwayne here Dry Creek Wrangler School um, the last video I put up was the one I was at the airport waiting for mama and I was sitting in the truck and I talked about the three-legged dog and uh, chasing things um, that get you in trouble and learning to eventually quit chasing those things and I got a and on videos before that I've gotten a lot of questions a lot of folks want me to address a heartbreak and heartache um, now I want to say here I want to stop here and say here um, I know that I get a lot of emails sent to me asking for counsel and asking for advice on certain things I read all the emails um, but I don't I don't answer them okay and I don't want those who have reached out and sent emails asking for counsel on certain things um, I don't want you to think I don't read them and I don't want you to think that I don't care because I haven't answered and I don't answer uh, probably not going to answer the reasons I, I I just feel like I, I need to share this. There's two reasons why I don't answer them. Number one, I'm not a therapist. I, I'm just a dude. I'm just a guy who's kind of been through some stuff, who raised kids, who kind of points out some things and, and just tries to kind of help with general direction in life. When it comes to individual counsel, uh, there's people out there that are way more qualified than I am. And when a question comes to me a few sentences on a page, I don't know the whole story. I don't know everybody involved. I don't know. And I just, I don't feel like I have the right um, to start giving out counseling via email. And I think it sets a dangerous precedent. And so it's not, it's not a question of I don't care about your situation. It's a question of I question my ability and my right, given that circumstances, to start handing out personal advice and, and um, personal counsel. And so it's to protect you from my own folly and failings and foolishness. It's to protect you from a complete stranger not knowing the entire situation, giving you the wrong kind of advice. Okay, I hope you understand that and I hope that makes sense. Um, the other thing is the sheer volume that comes in, if I started doing that, that would be eight to 10 hours a day for the rest of my life, just sitting there answering these emails. And that's, that's, that's not who I am. Okay, it's not, it's not, it's just not who I am. Okay, and, but I do read them. And, and I do care, and, uh, and there's times when I'll stop and it'll be so heavy and I'll feel such a burden, I will pray. And you know I'll pray over it and I'll pray for you. I know some of you, that, that doesn't mean anything to you, but I at least want you to know that I do read everything that comes in and I do care, but I'm not the guy. I'm not the guy who can start counseling and, and giving this stuff out, okay? And, and so I almost feel like I need to apologize for not being that guy, but that, that's why. Uh, but I can give some, just some general, what I do, I can just give some general opinions and viewpoints on life and things that I have been through. Um, you know, so guys get on here and they say, you know, I have been, and, and ladies too, I have been looking for love for years and it's just been one crash after another and I keep looking and I keep searching and I keep trying to find that right one and I can't find that right one and then others get on here and say I thought I had the right one we were together for three years and and uh, and then suddenly they they upped and left or or whatever and, and I'm heartbroken and I, I can't seem to get over it um, my view my take on this is first off on the one side of things 
stop searching stop looking okay um you don't find love okay you don't find love it's not something you go out and search for you don't you're not hunting deer you're not hunting an elk you're not hunting a spouse you're working on yourself and becoming the spouse maybe that somebody else would be hunting for and then when when it's right the right people meet now that sounds so trite but i'm telling you i'm telling you that if you I feel like i'm walking in deep water here if if you search for something hard enough you will convince yourself that you have found what you're searching for if you look for a flaw in a person this is an illustration if you look for a flaw in a person if you look hard enough you'll find it all right if you've been hurt in church if you've been hurt in religion if you've been hurt uh, by pastors or whatever before and you meet a new pastor doesn't matter how good he is if you search hard enough you will find something in that person that you can be offended at well it's the same thing if you search hard enough for that love of your life you'll find it but it won't be it okay I don't know if I can make that make sense you want to find that mate you want to find it so hard that you will create in your mind you will form them in your mind to what you want them to be because you're searching so hard um, but if you stop searching number one you'll stop the frustration all right you'll stop the frustration and you'll find peace and until and I've mentioned this in the video before until you find peace in who you are um, you can't not get that peace from somebody else all right if you're gonna if you're going to find a soulmate you guys are going to be brought together it, it's going to happen and if it doesn't happen that way it's not something you want that's why it keeps it, it keeps failing it keeps breaking because you want it so bad that you will search so hard that when you meet someone you will desperately check off all the boxes that meet what you're looking for and you will desperately ignore all the boxes that are what you don't need because you're searching too hard all right um so that's my recommendation to those who are looking for a mate who are looking for that looking for that person um stop looking it's it's a it's a sorry it's a sorry example but how many of you have torn your house apart looking for the remote control and didn't find it when you stop looking and go to Walmart and buy you another universal remote control you'll find the old one when you stop looking okay it's a poor example poor illustration but um, chew on it think about it meditate on it look back over your life and I think maybe you'll see a little nugget there that might help you on the other side of things I I can't speak I can't speak too familiarly with that subject um, both my parents are are still alive uh, all my siblings are still alive um, I, I have I've never lost to death anyone that I was really close to my grandparents I was pallbearer at my grandfather's funeral uh, when I was 14 on my 14th birthday uh, but my mother was the baby of 12 kids and so by the time I came along there were so many grandkids running around I was just another number uh, yelling through the house my grandfather had had a stroke he couldn't speak I, I never heard my grandfather say a word never heard him speak and uh, 
you know, I know, you know, I, I knew I was loved and everything, but I was just another number. And when my grandparents on my mom's side passed, uh, I, I wasn't close to them. So there wasn't that devastating loss, that heartbreak, if, if that makes sense. But I have, I have had loss and I have had heartbreak. Um, and it's so trite, but this too shall pass, okay? It will pass. Time does heal all wounds. Now, it doesn't seem like it for you right now. Um, but in the meantime, what, what would I advise? What do I suggest? I suggest you move on. I suggest you move on. Um, some of you have lost a girlfriend that you were thought was the one, and they're gone, and you still have her picture on your phone. I bet money. You still have her, her number in your phone. Uh, you still have things around the house. Um, just yesterday's gone. Just purge it and move on. And it's like, it's like a wound, it's like a cut, all right? It'll start scabbing over, but we'll just keep ripping that scab off. We'll keep picking that scab off. We'll just keep on. And so it, it doesn't heal, all right? It's not easy, I know, and it hurts, I know. And it seems like you'll never get over it, that loss, the loss of, of your mom, the loss of your, your grandfather. Uh, the loss of a best friend that got killed in a car wreck. Uh, cherish their memory. Cherish their memory and honor their memory, but keep going on with life and uh, just keep moving forward. And, and in time, and in time, it'll ease. It does. Uh, I know it seems such shallow, trite, easy advice, but it's just the way of humanity. It's the way of mankind. It's been like this uh, since man began. Uh, death is as much a part of life as life itself. You cannot have one without the other. All right? So just, it's not much help, but there it is, and I hope it helps a little bit. Okay? A um, couple of things. The, uh, I've been asked and pleaded with and begged and hammered and nagged and cajoled for months now. And so I have finally pulled the trigger. Uh, I started a podcast. And uh, so it's the guy who's doing it, I don't know nothing about it, okay? I just provide content and send it to the guy that's smarter than me. And he said, just tell you that anywhere that you normally listen to podcasts, whether it's Spotify or Apple Podcast or wherever, you can find it on there. It's Dry Creek Wrangler. And uh, so we've taken the, uh, we've started taking the videos that will lend itself to that and pulling the audio off and posting them. And so you'll recognize some of the titles. And then I've started recording new stuff that is just specifically for the podcast. And we're going to see how that, see how that goes. And. So don't ever let it be said that you can't teach an old dog new tricks because this old dog has learned a lot of new tricks in the last year, okay? So it's, there is a podcast, Dry Creek Wrangler, wherever you go to watch podcasts, I don't know. Uh, don't forget Mama's channel, Dry Creek Mama, if you haven't checked that out yet. And, uh, oh, let's see, Patreon account. We do have a Patreon account for those who are wanting to support what we're trying to do here and trying to build and uh, what is the cigar? Just because I know if I don't say it, you're going to ask. And some of you are going to ask anyhow. I never, I don't think in all of the videos I've put out, I never have a cigar or a pipe that somewhere in the video, I don't say what it is. It's so funny, I'll, I'll post a video and somebody get on and say, hey man, what's that cigar you're smoking? I won't even answer. That just tells me they didn't watch the whole video, okay? Um, this is a... This is an Oliva V Milanio Maduro. Uh, it's box pressed. It's a, uh, it's a very robust, very dark, rich, robust cigar with a lot of flavor and a lot of nuances to it. Um, it's not one that I have all the time, but sometimes when I'm wanting that, that, uh, that intense extra, 
um, with a lot of flavor, I'll pull one of these out. Um, it's not just super strong like a, um, a um, who makes the, what am I trying to think of? Mine just went blank. Cigar guys know, like the Vengeance, who makes the Vengeance? Um, well, starts with a K. I'm having a, I'm having a senior moment here. Um, Christoph, thank you. I say thank you, thank you to myself. Mama's like, I don't know. The Christoph Vengeance, you know, some of those are, they're just, um, they're just strong for the sake of being strong to me. Um, but this is, this is not like that. And so, uh, these, part of the cigars that was sent to me by cigarplace.biz, they're a sponsor on here. And that, that's where, if I order online cigars, that's where I get them all now. And, uh, I've had some of you have contacted me back, said, man, I, I checked those guys out and they did me really well. Uh, they sent, they were good priced. Shipping was really quick and they were boxed well. And they're a good bunch of guys. Uh, they take good care of me. And so I want to want to put that out there and um i think that's about it so i just time man time okay um click like if you like it subscribe if you haven't hit that bell so you're notified when i put something else out and if you know somebody that's going through a bit of a heartbreak right now or somebody who's frustrated because they cannot find that mate they're looking for and you say you know what that might help them. Then just click share and send it on over to them, and we'll catch you guys next time.